of seven, I published my first book, Flying Fingers, Mastering the Tools of Learning Through the Joy of Writing. I know that a lot of people may have some difficulty with descriptive writing, and at an early age, I did too. So here are a few tips to make you and your descriptive writing get along better. Use the five senses. I'm hoping you know what those are already. If not, here's the rundown. The five senses are, any guesses? A, sight, you know, your eyes. B, smell, your nose. Sound, I don't have to say what bodily part you use for that, right? Taste. And, of course, what would the world be without our lovely friend, Touch? So, your five senses of sight, smell, sound, taste, touch. Your eyes, your nose, your tongue, and you can use pretty much any part of your body for touching. So, you might be wondering, why are you telling you all this? My basic message is that you can use all of these for descriptive writing. So let's say that you've been assigned to write about a room. Maybe a classroom. So we have our normal looking classroom. Walls. Was not great perspective there. Cool. Now... With this, all, all you've covered is sight. You have the door, you have the window. So how can you make this more interesting? By covering the smell of the classroom. What does your classroom smell like? Write your nose. Hmm. So let's say your classroom smells like your teacher's favorite flower, geraniums. Now, do you like the smell of geraniums or not? Let's say you don't like geraniums. You could say the horrible smell of geraniums. The smell of geraniums. The smelly smell of geraniums. Passage. My classroom smells of fresh Geraniums. A terrible odor, in my opinion. And is colored the bright. with the exception of the black shiny door. Let's see, what else did he say with the ball nail food? What about stitch? In the side, Running your finger over the wall. Running your fingers. You discover a rough So, whereas maybe we started with something like the classroom is pink. Let's say we start with the classroom is pink. Now that's pretty good for starters. You covered a color and what it looks like, but 
Why say the classroom is pink when we can say my classroom smells of fresh picked geraniums, a terrible odor in my opinion, and is colored the bright pink of that flower with the exception of the black, shiny door. Inside, you can hear the substitute teacher while lawnmowers hum outside. Running your fingers over the wall, you discover a rough wood exterior. So, from only slightly covered smell, sound, touch, and if by any chance somebody in the classroom has a party and brings cupcakes, you can cover tasty. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. My website, if you'd like to learn more, is www.adorasvitoff.com.